All right, guys, I'm doing a quick video here on this ready to fly bundle from E. Sheen and Adam RC. It's called the Seagull. And you see, it comes with this um, looks like kind of like a Protect 35 uh, Cinewhoop with the uh, three and a half inch propellers. You get your T8 uh, transmitter, which is basically the Radio Master T8. And then you have a Sky Zone um, Cobra, they're calling this the Cobra L goggles. And uh, I, I got this kit kind of incomplete. They said it's a pre-production unit sample. Uh, not doesn't have everything. It doesn't didn't come with a manual. I don't have complete information. I, I do have a bunch of specs here that I'll just read off real quick. Um, so the flight controller stack is a, is probably a twenty by twenty flight controller stack. F405 flight controller, 30 amp uh, BL Heli S, uh, 2 to 4 S ESCs, 2004 2700 KV motors, uh, Adam RC branded 500 milliwatt video transmitter. This is an analog system. Foxier Razor Nano uh, FPV camera. I think that's the, the 14 millimeter camera. And then you have uh, the Gemfan uh, D90 uh, three bladed propellers. There's a three and a half inch propeller with the T, um, T mount style. Cobra L goggles, uh, 480 by 272 resolution. Uh, obviously you got the, um, got the steady view diversity receiver, of course. Uh, the DVR is the MJPEG DVR, not the H264 DVR. So this is more in line with the Cobra S goggles, not the X. And it says that it comes with a one cell 18650 battery or USB-C for power. Uh, this one didn't come with any batteries at all. Uh, supposed to come with 4S850 milliamp hour batteries. I imagine it'll come with two, possibly as many as four. Probably will come with three, is my guess. It does come with an HTRC like uh, budget charger that just charges off of the balance leads. And um, mine came with the wrong um plug it came with like a u or or asia plug not the us plug so i couldn't use it or test it the um the uh, built-in receiver in here is a dual diversity receiver it's got uh, two antennas it's d receivers probably the uh, r8 from radio master it comes pre-bound um it came uh, pre-bound to the e-sheen branded t8 radio as you can see here and it's exactly the same as the iFlight version and the Radio Master version. There's no difference. Uh, this is uh, probably going to go into a lot of future bundles. So the uh, prop guards on here, again, pre-production, 3D printed. It's not, um, well, it's going to come injection molded plastic in the production versions, but uh, these are 3D printed. But you can see it looks very similar to a Protec 35, very popular uh, model one that I never got a chance to review for, unfortunately, so I can't really tell you how this compares to the, the Protec 35. It does come with different motors, the 2004 motors now, so the 2203.5, I believe, on the Protec 35. So it's a smaller motor, and it comes with the T-style um, propellers and not the 5mm shaft propellers, so you may have some limited choices. Didn't come with an extra set of props. I imagine the production unit will come with an extra set of props. This battery here is a, the Forest 850 is one that I provided. It comes with an XD30 for your battery connection. So you need uh, batteries with an XD30 connector. Pretty sure that the ones that come with it will have the XD30 connector. So you have a top plate here on the top and a carbon bottom plate. So the bottom plate and the top plate are both carbon fiber. Um, I, it doesn't say how much this weighs on the spec sheet on the side of the box. I'll, I'll take a photo here of what it weighs on the scale along with the battery. The front here has a little screw hole for some sort of a mount that's not included or wasn't included in mine. It might be included in the production version, but you're gonna need that to mount some sort of HD camera. And uh, there's no easy way to mount an HD camera I can see uh, without the, the mount that's designed for this little screw hole, which I don't have. So. There's not going to be any HD video, but in terms of like whether or not this can carry a GoPro or not, uh, I don't think that it'll have any problem carrying a full-size GoPro, even a Hero 9, because it's got 
big 2004 motors and three and a half inch propellers, so it's got plenty of power. It's just a matter of how much flight time will be reduced by adding the, the bigger, bigger and heavier camera. So the receivers should be pre-bound already, and I did charge up the uh, battery that I have here, as well as the 18650 battery that I provided uh, in the goggles. Uh, so I'll just have to record the video on the DVR that's on the goggles. I did not plug it into the computer at all. Uh, it does have a USB Type-C um, plug on the flight controller if you do want to make any settings changes, and it's fairly accessible here, a big hole here on the side. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll give it a fly and I'll give you my thoughts as it's flying around. Okay, so took a little bit of time to figure out which was the arming switch and I appear to be in appear to be in some kind of angle mode that's uh, angle mode out of the box here I believe all the switches are in standard and there's a lot of wind I'm going into the wind right now there's a lot of wind right now you can see the, the calibration is a little bit off on the angle mode. Yeah, it's actually pretty windy right now, probably a good five to 10 mile an hour wind. But this has got a big enough power setup that the wind's not going to really affect it too much. All right, I, I kind of suck at flying angle mode here. Let me see. If I can find uh, acro mode here, I don't want to. I don't want to like go into some weird mode here. I'm gonna try one of these other switches. Okay, there we go. It's the bottom right switch. When it's down, it's angle mode. When it's up. Acro mode, and this is definitely acro mode. Oh yeah, <laughs> flying is so, so different. So you get a better idea what the tune is like. Now this is like, this is a kind of an interesting size. You can fly this kind of fast if you want or slow. It's a bit vers it's, it is quite versatile. And because it's got the bigger prop and the 2004 motor is pretty efficient, so you can get pretty long flight times. Uh, it's just that with these prop guards, even with any kind of prop guard, you're gonna get pushed around a little by the wind. It's a pretty decent wind right now. This is the Maiden, I haven't flown this before. Oh, there's a, some scraggle there. Can't really see it too well in analog. Barely missed it. Wow, the wind's really getting pretty nasty right now. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that on the microphone. There's a wind muff on the mic. I am wearing these goggles with my glasses on. Um, I'll have links to the Cobra X review and the uh, this T8 remote. Uh, I'm not going to cover it again in this video because I've covered it in pretty sufficient detail in the other videos, so I'll link those in the description, you can check it out if you want more specific information about these other two components, but yeah, these are gonna, these have already started appearing in a lot of these ready-to-flies. But you can see it's quite controllable, even in this wind. So they just need to send me the mount so I can put like a GoPro or something on here. Because without that mount, it's uh, there's like a covering on the side, so you can't really put battery strap around there. And then there's not enough space to stick it in where the uh, props are. It's going to hinder the spinning of the props. Uh, so we're at uh, about four minutes of flight, 
3.7 volts per cell, 14.8 volts, so yeah, plenty of flight time on this. So unless you're trying to do like serious acro or something, it's probably, you're probably going to be fine in battery. Let's do a little flip here. I don't really like doing acro on the center. Whoops, wow. The rates are super low on this. So yeah, I wouldn't do any freestyle on this. So look at that. that, that, that the roll rate's really low. Again, this is pre-production, so take everything with a grain of salt. They're probably going to tweak it a bit. I'm uh, heading out on a road trip here shortly, so I wanted to get this video into my queue and off of my plate before I leave in case uh, they decide to re release this while I'm out so you guys at least get my opinion on this before uh, um, yeah, I guess you know, before get, uh, the, the information gets a little bit stale. Like I said, it's going to probably come with um, three batteries, probably four batteries, four S4850s. I don't know the pricing yet either. They haven't told me that information as well. A lot of information they didn't really give me on this one. But I'm not terribly shocked at how it flies. This is, this is actually pretty predictable. 2004 motor, three and a half inch prop. It's a little bit noisy. Again, that's the, the Bullnose D, D series prop from Gem Fan. Uh, those are all pretty noisy. Uh, not exactly sure about the KV of the motor. It seems okay, I'm given the flight time. But you're not getting a ton of power either. So I think it's a good compromise between power and efficiency. The reception is pretty decent. I'm just using the stock um, uh, linear antennas, they come with the package, no special antennas, not, nothing special here. I haven't done anything in terms of uh, tweaking it or anything like that. I haven't even connected it to Betaflight. Like I said, I didn't even know which switch was the arming switch. I had to figure that out by flipping a bunch of switches around. Kind of sketchy, but they didn't send the manual. I mean, come on. Um, you know. But, you know, if you're experienced, you can probably figure it out. But, you know, again, if you're experienced like me, Mm, I wouldn't be buying this, you know. Uh, I would. I have already. I have a lot of gear already, so I am hoping that as a beginner, someone that if they're targeting beginners or someone new, that they will provide adequate documentation. All right, we're at the end of the battery here. Three and a half volts per cell. That seems like a good time to land. And seven minutes of flight time. Pretty, pretty good. All right, that's gonna do it. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you later.